Hi, my name is Dinal and the paper that I'll be presenting today is titled Understanding Interviewees' Perception and Behavior Towards Verbally and Non-Verbally Expressive Virtual Interviewing Agents. Recent technological advancements have boosted the use of virtual interviewing platforms where the candidates interact with the virtual interviewing agent or an avatar that has a human-like behavior instead of face-to-face -face interviews. While the face-to-face -face interviewing may seem like a viable option, it has a few limitations like it is not scalable and involves expenses of scheduling, infrastructure and workspace among others. Attempts have been made to enhance these agents' capabilities to make them more interactive. These approaches include the incorporation of non-verbal and verbal behavior. But it raises an important research question. Does the addition of verbal and non-verbal behavior to these virtual interviewing agents have an impact on interviewers? To answer the above question, we conducted a comparative study with 30 participants taking both the interviews. We had two interactive capabilities to the avatar, namely the non-verbal gestures and the verbal follow-up questioning and compare it with a simple interview. As a result, it is essential to understand how candidates perceive these virtual interviewing avatars and whether adding these features makes a difference. Tools design. For both the settings, we used the ICT virtual human toolkit to build a virtual interviewing agent. The experiment was conducted as two separate within subject experiment, verbal versus control and control versus non-verbal. A final feedback form was presented to the participants asking for their preferred interviewing method. It consisted of an open-ended question asking for the reason for the preferred interviewing method and if they noticed any difference between the two cases. For the control setup, there are no commands that are sent to the virtual avatar to show any gestures. This interview consists of six hard-coded questions being asked to the candidate. For the virtual interviewing agent with non-verbal gestures, we developed our own behavior generation model. We have generated three types of gestures, metaphoric, weak, beat, and dialectic. We used a suit of pre-animated gestures available in the VH toolkit to display our non-verbal gestures. Metaphoric gestures. Metaphoric gestures occur when an individual creates a physical representation of an idea or a concept. Image schemas can be used to characterize these gestures, hence we use them to communicate verbal to non-verbal channels and to generate metaphoric gestures. We pass the surface text of the question being asked to generate a synset of each word using the word name dictionary. We then disambiguate the meaning of each word using the LESC method. This is used to generate hypernames. We compare the similarity of the surface text synset and its hypernames with the list of synsets of our list of image schemas and assign an image schema to the word if the similarity is found, which is then converted to an animation mapping. A custom VR speak message is generated and then sent to the VH toolkit. Be gestures. So, beat gestures are basically hand movements that emphasize the spoken discourse. To generate these gestures, we use rapid keyword extraction algorithm to extract the keywords from the surface text and then, and then we assign an important score to the extracted keywords or phrases. We assign the beat gesture to the word if the important score crosses a threshold value of 1.1, which we found after our experimentation with different values and scenarios. Dialectic gestures are basically uh, pointing gestures. A communicative function is defined which maps, which is mapped to a set of certain words. When one of these words appear in the communicative uh, appears, the communicative intent is triggered to generate a dialectic gesture. For the virtual interviewing agent with the follow-up question, uh, a follow-up question is defined as the one that is dynamically generated depending upon the original interview question and the user in the form of an in. Uh, the follow-up question generation module uses a GPT-2 transformer which is fine-tuned on a set of an interview data set. This data set has over 1000 triplets of questions and answers and a follow-up. Of the six questions posed to the candidate, every alternate question is a follow-up question. Measures. Uh, we have two types of measures, self-reported measures and behavioral measures. For self-reported measures, a post-interview questionnaire, uh, post questionnaire was given to the candidate. This has questions related to chance to perform if they felt stressed, anxious, engaged, and confident. A final feedback form was given, which asked the candidate their choice of interview and also if they liked both or none of the interviewing methods. Candidate rated their experience on the scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the worst and 5 being the best on different set of questions. For the behavioral measures, multiple audio and visual fuse cues were extracted from the recorded videos to account for the behavioral differences. 
We used features like pitch, loudness, and energy as a part of the prosodic features, which were extracted using OpenSmile. Features like the total time of the interview, speaking rate, and the articulation rate were extracted using Prath. Analysis. Uh, the Wilcoxon sign rank test was used for non Gaussian distribution. One tailed parity test was used for Gaussian distribution of the people. For the results for uh, NVB versus control, for behavioral measures, the total time and the spoken time of the candidates were statistically higher in the NVB setting compared to the interview without the non verbal gestures. Interestingly, the mean energy uh, in the uh, mean energy of the candidate in the controlled interview is more than the energy in the NVB interviewing setting. For the self-reported measures, the candidates felt that they had a better chance to perform in the NVB setting compared to the controlled interview. Both stressed and engaged uh, engaged uh, features uh, showed a statistical difference in the NVB and the control setting. Candidates also felt less uh, performance anxiety, behavioral anxiety in the NVB setting. From the final feedback form, 16 candidates preferred the interview with the virtual interviewing agent having non-verbal capabilities and 5 candidates preferred the control. 4 candidates did not have a preference, 5 candidates preferred both the interviewing methods. For the results of VB versus control. For the behavioral measures, the total time and the speaking time of the candidate in the VB setting is statistically different than that in the control setting. Since the follow-up question proved more information about the previous question, the candidates perhaps may have had a longer conversation and provided more content serving the purpose of the follow-up as per its definition. One of the candidates reported that he was able to express himself more in the interview with the VB setting. Speaking rate of the candidate in the VB uh, setting was more compared to the control. Results for self-reported measures. Candidates felt that they had a better chance to perform in the VB setting. The candidates felt more confident in the interview with the virtual interviewing agent asking a follow-up question. The candidates also felt relatively less stressed in the interview with the follow-up question. As per the final feedback form, 16 candidates preferred the interview with the virtual interviewing agent having a follow-up question generation capabilities. Six candidates preferred the controlled interview, four candidates did not have any preference, and four candidates preferred both the interviewing methods equally. Qualitative analysis. We performed a manual qualitative analysis of the open-ended user responses from the final feedback form. We did the initial coding to extract the important topics. Candidates who preferred the VB interview setting stated that the interviewing method was engaging, comfortable, lively, and interactive. One of the candidates said, uh, like to quote one of the candidates, he said that the setting one felt like literally talking to a boy. In setting two, the avatar felt more lively. To quote one of the candidates in the VB setting, uh, the first method was just a few standard set of questions. Anybody can come up with the standard set of answers and do just fine in the interview. Whereas in the second one, it was interactive and I could express who I really am. In this paper, we have systematically studied the effect of adding verbal and non-verbal behavior on the virtual interviewing agent on the interviewees. We conclude from the results that the candidates feel that they performed better when the virtual avatar had these features. The candidates overall spoke more and are able to express themselves better in the interviews with the avatar emulating human-like behavior. Of course, these non-verbal gestures are still basic in manifestation. More research and improving may help uh, improve the candidate experience. The avatar, as of now, does not display any listening behavior while the candidate is answering. Adding this feature may make the avatar even more human-like. The current limitation of the study is that we do not compare the effect of verbal and non-verbal behavior together on the candidates. We intend to do this in the future. Thank you.